La banda escocesa Franz Ferdinand se encuentra de gira en México, por lo que pudimos hablar con Alex Capranos y Bob Hardy, quienes platicaron sobre su nuevo álbum, donde el miedo es un tema central. También hablaron de la energía en el escenario y la conexión especial que tienen con sus fans latinoamericanos. Su nuevo álbum, que verá la luz en 2025, lleva como título Human Fear y gira en torno al miedo. So, like we were The album is called The Human Fear, and uh, we all experience fear in our lives, and uh, often there's a mis misperception of fear as a negative entity. Um, fear can be a very positive thing. Fear is what we overcome to do the greatest things in our lives, you know, like asking uh, somebody out on a date. El mensaje del álbum va más allá del miedo. Se trata de lo que obtenemos al superarlo. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. O -o Overcoming fear lets you know the level, the depth of your personality as well. You know, you, you know you have it within you to overcome a fear. And so in, in a way, confronting yourself with fear lets you know that you have the capacity to exactly. overcome it and lets you know you, you are alive. It's exactly. The roller coaster analogy here for me is like, you know, you're queuing for this roller coaster, getting more and more nervous. And then when you, once you've done it and you've completed it, you get the biggest rush, go back and join the queue again. Exactly. You know, it's like, yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> But the irony is that when you do it the first time, that's the best rush. Yeah. You know, like when you go back the second time, you know what's coming and it's, it's never quite the yeah. same. Yeah. Para este disco, la banda cuenta con una nueva alineación, lo que les ha dado un sonido distinto que les gusta mucho. Yeah, I mean, th th this album we made, for us, we, we believe that you can really hear the sound of a band playing in a room together, you know, and that, that's something that's very important for us. You know, I, I, there's a lot of pop music I, I, I love, and it's great, but so much pop music today is made by, like, just adding one element to each other. It's more like uh, doing a Tetris game than anything else. And while I can make something great, there's something very particular of the sound of a set of individuals playing together in a room. And uh, that excites me, and it's who we are as a band as well. And we recorded in Scotland in uh, my studio. It's kind of in the countryside. We sort of disappear from the rest of the world, find our little place, and just concentrate on being who we are and, and, and making what we want to make right there. La banda se encuentra en México con una gira por varias ciudades, por lo que han preparado un show muy especial para esta visita. I mean, I guess we've been working uh, a, a lot on the presentation of the show. Uh, we've got a new set of lights and a new stage set and all that kind of stuff. Um, because I think the visual identity of a band is, is as important as, as, as the sound of the band. Um, the energy feels good at the moment, doesn't it, Bob? Yeah, I think, I think people coming to shows at this point of, uh, of our of our, the life of this record, this is the very beginning. Uh, it's quite a special time for us because we're playing these songs for some of the very first time ever, you know? It's like, we pl we've played like some of the songs like four times in front of people, some, some less. And, um, and there's, a, there's, a, there's a kind of energy you get with that where, you know, it's a little bit more nervous for us and we're kind of like, you kind of, you know, there's this, this kind of intangible, intangible kind of thing. And yeah, it's, it's just an exciting period for us and, uh, yeah, and hopefully for the audience. And but, but also we, we've been rehearsing and getting it ready in Scotland because Um, I, I love the idea that a show feels effortless and, like, you know, like spontaneous, but to be able to get to that level of spontaneity and effortlessness, you have to do a hell of a lot of preparation. And uh, I, I always feel really good when I know the band doesn't even have to think about the songs when they play them. They just, you know, you just walk on stage and your instincts take over and the performance is there. Finalmente, Alex y Bob aseguran sentirse muy orgullosos de sus fans mexicanos y latinoamericanos, a los cuales califican como únicos. I mean, I think we've been very lucky with our fans. Um, Our fans tend to be very kind, sensitive, uh, cool people. You know, like, like often when we, we come to a country and play, we'll, we'll meet people outside a hotel or a venue. And it, 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 I always find it very moving, particularly when people talk about how the music has affected their lives and, and what's happened within their lives. And, you know, I, I think that's probably, yeah, it's still the greatest reward you can get from the music. Like, it's, it's, it's a... <laughs> Con uno, Eduardo Ayala.